I'm not going to bid on anything, obviously, but let's see what they've got. I'm assuming it's going to be an entertainment memorabilia. You can get something from 8 Mile, which is just, it's just like a normal outfit. <laughs> just It's just like a little dirty. Okay, starting bid, two grand, cool. Man, this shit is expensive. The face hugger display is a starting bid of 7,500. Man, what the fuck? Oh my god, 20 grand for Corporal Dwayne Hicks shotgun? Holy shit. They have a lot from aliens here, my god. What? A starting bit of three grand for the American Psycho business card display? What? Is it tier one, Ramon? Why would you do that? That's way too much. It's a fucking business card display. This is not worth. Not at all. If it was cheaper, it'd be cool. Man, everything is so expensive. Like, this chair I would think would be a lot. The Austin Powers Dr. Evil chair? But that's a starting bit of 1500 That's less than the fucking business cards. Like, this chair has a use. You can sit in it. There's the reset bricks and crazy. Austin Powers glasses, pretty cool, pretty cool. I just don't see why you would buy props that you'll never know where they're from without someone telling you. Like, these just look like toy guns. Well, they look like real guns, but you know they're props. So it's just, they just look like normal fake guns. You'd have no idea it's from Age of Ultron. It just, I don't know, I don't see the point. Is there sub Crady and Snoof? <clears throat> See, like, this is cool. Wow. 30 grand. When my dad bought this back in, like, the mid... Two, or not mid. The early 2000s. I don't think he even paid a thousand bucks. But it must have just been a knockoff. Like a replica. I, I, I need to ask if he still has that. I think he does. Let me ask. Give me one sec. Oh! Thank you for the 20 gift subs, Seth. Thank you for that, Seth. Okay. The Almanac at four grand. Eek. Where's the mummy shit? It looks like they have a ton here. It'll take me a while to scroll to the mummy. Let's see, how can I... Category, no, lot number, no. Oh, what's the highest priced item here in the lot? Starting bit of 150 grand, it's the Oasis, Noel Gallagher, Custom Silver Sparkle, Gibson Les Paul, Florentine Guitar. And then a Superman figurine. And then Darth Vader's screen matched gloves. Do keyword mummy. Oh, hold on, let me scroll through these real quick. This has to be a front. I, I just don't believe anyone's going to pay this much for this shit. This has to be a front. Like the Shawshank Redemption Bible 
for a starting bid of 50 grand? Like, come on, a first edition Harry Potter book? Thanks, your resub. Vita Gel, Vojo, Nitsua, and the Prime No Skin. Are they props from the movies at least? Well, yeah, I, I would think so. This, I don't think is. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, the, the Shawshank Redemption Bible has three bids currently at 60 grand. What the fuck? Why? Oh, wow. Maybe the 25 gift subs Christian. Good to see you tonight, man. Hope you had a good good day. Thanks, Resub Giuseppe. God damn, Christian. Thank you. Type mummy into keywords. Okay. Oh, here we go. See, that's cool. It's not $15,000 cool, but it's cool. That's the book of the the book of the living. That is fucking awesome. From Hamanoptra. Oh, and they even have the Hamanoptra key. That's definitely not 10 grand cool, but it's still cool. It's not even real props. These are screen matched replicas. No fucking way. No fucking way you're paying 200 grand at that top level for a screen matched replica. It's not even an actual prop. Oh, what the fuck? Again. Thank you for the 20 gift subs again, Seth. Thank you for the fat drop. Appreciate the generosity tonight, man. Screen matched equals real. There's, I, I, I don't really know what screen matched means in this context at all. I, I couldn't tell you. But there, I'm telling you right now, there is no way anyone is buying replicas for these crazy prices. No one. These have to be actual props. Here, you know, actually, let's click on it. Maybe they have more information. A functional hero golden book of the living from Stephen Summers' action adventure, The Mummy. It doesn't say... I, I'm guessing it is, though. Like, they, they even show it in The Mummy, but maybe they're showing that it looks like it did in The Mummy. Fuck, I mean, this is a cool book. I have to imagine this is a real prop. I am not spending 15 grand on the goddamn Book of the Living from <laughs> The Mummy. And I'd still need the key to open the book, which is another 10 grand. You got me fucked up if you think I'm wasting money on that. Do they have any props from Moonfall? Alright, now we're talking. If they have Moonfall props, I'll consider it. Unironically, because those things will probably be going for like 10 bucks a pop. Ain't nobody buying Moonfall memorabilia. Let's see. Thanks to give subs Cernage and the bits Santa and George. What's the minimum you'd pay for those? For the Book of the Living prop? I don't know. I probably just wouldn't pay for it. I just hope that at some point Stephen Summers like, man, that Charlie really does love the mummy. Send them, send them the Book of the Living. But not the key. He can pay for that. Damn, they've all been bought already. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit, we were too late. People already snatched up all the Moonfall merch.
He's the prime. Kokali. Look at fifth element props. Let's see. Yeah. Nothing too cool here. I like Fifth Element, but I, I don't think it's as good as people like to make it out to be. I loved it when I was a kid. I went back and watched it like maybe like eight years ago now, so a decent bit ago. It's not as good now as I remembered it being. The cheapest item on sale is two hundred. Is a two hundred dollar check signed by Jimi Hendrix, and the starting bid is a hundred. Now you're just making free money. Thanks for your sub, Sam Terrain Damp. And the oh my god, and the twenty gift subs again, Seth. The Prime Curtain. I hear the big pop off tonight, Seth. Try Power Ranger. Oh, we got one thing. Power Rangers Time Forced Full Size Yellow Vector Cycle. Wait, that is hype as fuck. Like, full size, like, real <laughs> vector cycle? As in, like, I can sit on it? Ooh, gee, my god. Thank you for the resub, that guy, Yav. And the 25 gift subs, Christian, and the 25 gift subs, Damp Cheeks. What the fuck? Really appreciate the gift sub generosity tonight, Jesus. It's built over a Suzuki RF900R. This yellow vector cycle features custom fiberglass body elements applied over the front and back axle and headlights. So this is like a real drivable vector cycle. That's pretty cool. I'd never actually drive this thing because I know I'd die on it. This would this would absolutely be what just sends me to my grave. But holy fuck, that's cool. Time Force was one of my favorite Power Rangers series. I've talked about that before. I love Time Force. That also seems like a pretty cheap deal, all things considered. This is somehow a fifth of what the goddamn Book of the Living from the Mummy is. Damn, that's kind of cool. Like, that's actually really cool. There's the resub Panero in the Prime Anima. And another gift sub Seth. Did it say 8K for shipping? I mean, that sounds about right. It's fucking transporting a motorcycle. I'm not going to get it, but that is pretty cool. Buy it for your dad. Yeah, I'm sure my dad would love the Power Rangers Time Force Yellow Vector Cycle. Though you did just give me an idea. My dad wants to get back into building muscle cars again. Maybe we should ch change that trajectory from muscle cars to stupid TV show vehicles. That might be fun. Make the car that talks. You're talking about Kit from Knight Rider. Fuck you for calling this stupid. Well, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Here's the Prime Beho. How come you don't take donations anymore? People would always donate way more than they should and it became like a gamifying thing with like text-to-speech and all that so eventually i just took down the donation thing i took it down for the charity stream and just never put it back up 
don't need donations or anything, man. The, the watching's plenty. Exit Prime. Smith. The anonymous bits. I'm actually going to save this tab, though. Not because I'm going to get this, but I actually just think this is a really cool idea for me and my dad to build shit like this. He was just talking to me about that the other day, about wanting to get back into building hot rods and shit. So this could be a fun project. Thanks to Prime Twisty. And the 10 gift subs, few. Thank you, few. You can bid on a bag of blue sky meth from Breaking Bad. Is there sub Omega and Rabbit? Oh, two. Th this this right here costs almost as much as a real motorcycle from Power Rangers. Their pricing makes no sense to me. Or fifteen hundred dollars for a pair of underwear. Like, how do I even know? Brian Cranston put his nuts in here. I can't even see, like, his ball outline or anything. This could just straight up be a lie. I Even if I smelled it, I wouldn't know. I'm not going to know his stench. I, it just have to come with, like, a certificate of authenticity, like, signed from Brian Cranston. Like, yep, I stained these bad boys on the set of Breaking Bad. Actually, how do they verify? I'm super curious. Let's see. It doesn't even say. How do I... Oh, here. Item comes with a prop store certificate of authenticity. Okay. I'll think about it. When any of my friends come over, they'd all just wonder what the fuck I'm doing hanging a pair of underwear on my, on my wall. Things Sub Reflection, Caesar in the Prime Thrift Store. Oh, bag of blue sky meth. Nice. This is cheap. Only 400 bucks. Woohoo. Holy shit, the Back to the Future hoverboard's 80k. That is crazy to me. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to text my dad again. Because he has it. He got it on eBay back in the early 2000s for super cheap. But this is the real one? Yeah, but who gives a fuck? Like, it looks the same on the wall. He has a replica? Yeah, who gives a fuck, though? Like, I'm gonna have him send me a picture of his wall. If he's, I, I think he still has it. Because he has that and the pit bull. And you would have no idea it's different unless you're also framing the certificate of authenticity. Which I think looks really tacky anyway. So you're probably not even doing that. Sort by lowest price. Okay, let's see what the cheapest thing in the entire auction is. Oh, it's the Jimi Hendrix check. Okay, it's just like random pictures. Yeah, who cares about any of that? There's a Prime Samuel. Why don't you just print your Yu-Gi-Oh cards then? That's not even the same. What do you mean? That's so different. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't print those. 
It's impossible. We don't have that technology yet. It's like printing money. You need the special plates, special technology. It, 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 it just can't be done. But if it could, yeah, I'd start buying replicas, maybe, you know. Save a little cash on the collection. No one would know. Thanks the bits, Christian. And the resub Graziani. This is a cool auction. Now, when they do these auctions, do they do like a live stream of it? I actually might want to tune in to see which fucking maniac is buying the Walter White underwear. Or spending 200 grand for the um, action figure. They usually do. I might check that out then. Oh, damn it. My dad didn't keep the hoverboards. Fuck. <laughs> he said they were just replicas, not good ones. Damn. I like the prime muffins. That's his hoverboard. Yeah, <laughs> imagine they're just repurposing the hoverboard my dad bought. Dad's like, yeah, it's just a fucking replica. Who cares? Meanwhile, this auction's selling it for 80 grand. You hear about the My Hero TCG? I have. Don't do elevated chats, though. I just saw that going by. Elevated chat's a scam. I did see the My Hero TCG. It seems cool. He's a prime Melb. Check the movie. You said the worst movie of all time. Forgot the name. Let's Be Evil. It's an indie movie. It's not going to have anything here. The 200k isn't an action figure. It's the whole Superman costume. Are you sure? I thought for sure it said statue somewhere. Oh, no, you're right. The complete Christopher Reeve costume. Interesting. Well, now I see it's a good deal at only a hundred and fifty grand. Is your sub Noah? MK Leo taking a break until December. I mean, yeah, he fucking slapped everyone around all week, and he's probably just gonna take a take a little breather. Think they have any James Corden props? Let's see. Oh, whoops! I immediately spelled his name wrong. No. Let's get some Jinx. Try cats. It would probably be like from the play. Well, no, the Underworld Selena Kate Beckinsale PVC cat suit. Hmm. Is it tier one psycho? I 
in the bits brick. Charlie, this is just for that specific auction. If you click buy now at the top, you can filter everything and has cheaper stuff than the Jimi Hendrix ticket. Sounds like bait to accidentally buy something. But you're right, actually. I think that is just for the specific entertainment memorabilia. They had a ton of different ones. They have posters. They have a whole Better Call Saul auction. Wait, what the fuck? So you get the whole Gene Takovich get up. How much is this? What did this sell for? I have to log in to see the winning bid? Come on. Why ruin the fun? Oh, come on. <sighs> stupid. That's very stupid. I don't know what a Swatch Watch is. A Funko Pop auction? What kind of pops we get? Oh my god. Huge. I think the resub binry or binrin. No one bought this. What? Two hundred to three hundred. What a bargain! All of these have ended except for the movie ones. They had a Terminator Dark Fate auction. <laughs> What the fuck were they selling here? Oh, uh, just some boring ass costumes. A series of unvo- What in the world? Is this from the old movie? Oh no, this is the TV series. I forgot that came out. I never watched it. The Punisher, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Some of these sound kind of hype. A oh, Zoolander 2 auction? Oh my god, that's so sad. Oh, yuck. Winning bid in A. I am imagining nobody bought anything. Notice how there is not a single sold ticket here. Why? God damn. I never even saw the sequel. It just looked so bad. I loved Zoolander growing up. I watched that movie like 50 fucking times. But the trailer for Zoolander 2 looked miserable. There's a Risa Braith and Smoke Pot a lot and Geo, Cream Pie, and Mike. Well, that was sweet. Thanks, Smoke Pot. Oh, they got Annihilation right under that. Yeah, I didn't even see it. Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. What do they have for Annihilation? The Body Puppet Albino Alligator. Nice. But why? 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 Who would just buy two drinking glasses and say it's from Annihilation? Like, I wouldn't believe you if you told me. If I went to, like, a big movie buff's house and he's like, these two drinking glasses are from Annihilation, that one scene where Lane and Kate, or Lena and Kate are drinking from them for five seconds? Yep, I've got them. I just wouldn't believe him. I think he's making it up. The glasses sold for twelve fifty. Oh, you logged in to see? Nice. Thanks for the update. I mean, I guess it's not even a bad deal for two high quality shot glasses. Twelve fifty for two of these bad boys and a certificate of authenticity. So you get a little trivia while you're ripping shots. That's not terrible. There's a resub lobster. 
Mike and Wraith. Two stand in human shaped trees. Cool. Do they have Morbius content? No, it looks like they're only doing like older stuff. The glasses are $800. I don't know who to believe. Thanks to the Bits Cat. These prop store auctions kind of go hard. Oh, fuck. I forgot all about this movie, as did everyone else. Oh, they did some John Wick 3 merch, or uh, props. Nice. What would they even do for Warcraft Online? That movie was all CGI. Oh. Okay. Reference pieces, I guess. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I'm not getting the fucking mummy props. Miz bought the sword from this. I mean, was it, was it a cool sword? I mean, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I actually might tune into the live stream for this one. November 3rd. I just want to see what maniac buys some of this absolute overpriced garbage here at the top. Because some of these are just absolute dog shit. Like buying these gloves. The Darth Vader gloves. Screen matched. Which leads me to believe that it's probably not even real. Like actually used in the movie. It's all anonymous. Well, I would think so. Well, actually, that's not, not exactly what I expected. By anonymous, I don't know what I was picturing. I was expecting, like, classic auction where you hold up your number. Do I hear 75? Okay, arrest that man. He needs help. He's a prime shadow. Let me give some poncho. Check if they have Jumanji. Nah, I don't feel like looking for Jumanji. I'm going to guess probably not. If they had Jumanji, it would be towards the top here, and we looked through all the top ones already. <sighs> this chariot would be kind of cool, I think. Not 20 grand cool, but just kind of cool in general. Things are resub feather and bin and the bits doku. Screen match means worn and unwashed. Oh, is that what that means? Chat said it meant like they just made a replica. Even still, who gives a fuck? It's just two random gloves. You would never connect that to Darth Vader without that fucking certificate. If you're going to buy a movie prop, why not it why not get something that's like iconic and immediately recognized from where it's like bought? Like like even this. The Freddy vs. Jason mask. If someone had this, I'd immediately know what that is. Not two random gloves. I think it's a tier one mustachio in the resub. Third party snack. And the tin gift sub's Christian again. Thank you. You again, Christian. And it gives him Patrick. Probably someone with the rest of the costume. 
Yeah, true, I guess that's a good point. I guess if you already had all the other pieces... Hold on, quick text message. Okay. The buy now tab at the top. So what is this, like all their throwaway shit? Holy fuck. Is this a real buggy? That's, that's pretty cool. It's certainly not 15 grand cool, but what a great movie. Rank the prank bluefish head mask. What does that mean? What's rank the prank? Man, a lot of this looks like actual garbage, but then some of it doesn't. So far, I've only recognized a few of these things. Here's the resub chaos and the bits back. The rubber mold of Danny DeVito's head from Batman Returns is auctioning for nearly $2,000. See, now that sounds worth about two grand. Holy shit, they have something from Gemini Man. Why? Good heavens, why? Oh my, you couldn't give that away. What a stinker of a movie. Who is ranked the prank? Here he is again. Christ. Get him out of here. Power Rangers Zeo's hype. Oh, Charlie's Angels full throttle? I used to love Charlie's Angels. Man, what a, what a team. Lucy Liu, Drew Barrymore, and uh, Cameron Diaz. Golly. Early 2000s, Charles was eaten. Things are resub young and chronic. I watch those movies so often. Rank the prank again. What the fuck is rank the prank? I'm tired of seeing it. Give me some cool shit. They're all kind of lame. Lame. Give me some good... Oh, Men in Black 3. The Alien Dome Helmet. Awesome. The worst Men in Black. What a shame. All boring. Oh, what? Matrix Reloaded Digital Press Kit. Set it from price high to low. Oh, that's an interesting idea.
All right, what's the most expensive buy now? Twenty six grand for the Star Trek motion picture. Oh, uh, it's a model. It's a model. And then a full sized light up medical pod from Prometheus. Wait, that's pretty cool though. Movie a little dog ass, but that is a cool prop. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Not as cool as the... If, if I was going to buy anything from this auction, I would absolutely get the actual Power Rangers Time Force Yellow Ranger Vector Cycle because it's a real motorcycle. Like, I would get that. Not this. And the Vector Cycle is also three grand, not 15 Buy it and sleep in it for a week. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds miserable. I, I don't believe in the paranormal, but I would legitimately feel haunted. Like, I feel like I just got cursed. The motorcycle probably doesn't work. It said it was built over the Suzuki, uh, what was it, the RF900? Or something like that? But yeah, maybe it doesn't work. There's that buggy. Don't know, Warlords of Atlantis. I can buy an entire body dummy from Fury. Or the Prometheus Lower Bridge Command Console. <laughs> What a cool prop to own on that one. Excuse me, I'm going to the hub. That's so, that's adorable. Oh my god, another one. The Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue full-size Strata Cycle. I already know this doesn't work, though. The Vector Cycle, I feel, has a chance. I can eyeball that and tell you that doesn't run. Zerisub, Grudski, Tassix, and Vexi. Lightspeed Rescue did go hard. Hey, Jupiter Ascending. I don't think anyone ever saw that movie, so I don't I don't know if that'll ever sell. I need to drop the price on that. A life-sized Raphael statue from the TMNT Out of the Shadows movie. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Judge Dredd from the Sylvester Stallone 1995 movie. Only thing I remember from that movie is there was like a cannibal scene. They were eating people's, like actual people from meat hooks. And then there's a scene where a guy's like, rip his fucking arms off. That's all I remember. Cool movie though. Damn, imagine they actually just have a full-sized helicopter on here. The Fallout 3 2008 T-45 promotional power armor statue, huh? Actually cool as shit. That one goes hard. I love Fallout 3 too. That one's nice. You skipped the mummy mask? Oh, did I? What? Where? Oh, you're right. The special effects mummy mask. That one's not as cool. I love the mummy, but that is just not as cool as this Fallout 3 promotional statue. I like that a lot. They've got some good shit on here, especially compared to the actual auction, uh, the actual auction. What is this? 
Star Wars New Hope butt cheeks. Like, I don't even know what this is supposed to be. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 full-sized burnt electro body. <laughs> this would be such a fucking amazing Halloween decoration. Just have like a corpse laying around. Like it's actually Electro from uh, Amazing Spider-Man. It's Jamie Foxx. Yeah, he's dead. And there's some swords. Well, I guess it's a staff. A full-sized animated pinhead replica. Cool. Hellraiser's hot right now. Hulu just came out with the new one, which is apparently good. Looks like if some dancer, the resub bear, and prime puffer, and resub bone jones. Oh, Point Break. Point Break. That movie was cool. That's Keanu Reeves, right? That's the one where, like, the surfers go on a, a crime, spree, crime spree. There's the Prime Yibby and the Resub Rain. Nice. Yeah, that was a cool movie. A Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue Shockatron Monster Costume. That's... Man, why does Power Rangers have, like, the best items on here? So you can actually get, like... Hold on, I want to see them in the, in the show. You can actually just get one of the monsters. Is it this... This is verse Trevel, Liz Twin, Loki. Where's Shockatron? Don't tell me they don't have the Shockatron clip. He's iconic. He's a tier one reckless in the resub motion. Do they have this frozen woman for sale as well? That'd be a cool prop. Man, what? Why don't they have Shockatron? You know, how about which episode did he come in? And I'll see if I can find the official upload. Shockatron. Episode 4 of what season? Man, this site is not working at all. Okay. Love that. Oh, there we go. Uh, number of episodes is four. He wasn't in episode four. He was in four episodes. So a face from the past. Holy shit, he looks so cool. <laughs> uh, 18th episode. So season one, episode 18. This is season 8, episode 18. That doesn't help me. How about this? Damn, unlucky. This is the one? This is season 8, though. Previously on Power Rangers, Lights Be Rescued. I have complete faith in Shockatron. Shockatron, you're right. That that could be me. I just need to spend twenty five hundred dollars on the costume. Shockatron, let's go. What a deal. Thanks for the tier one. 
Zigamations and Larissa Bad Pappy and the Prime Nick. And Larissa Mary. Do the eyes glow too? No, it doesn't look like it. That must be special effects. Fucking lame. Now we're getting into the cheaper stuff. I can buy Supergirl's flying body harness for only seventeen hundred. Wow, we, <laughs> ooh, now we're finally getting somewhere. Cool, very cool. I do. You know how much I love Supergirl, and and that body harness is iconic. These are the Prime Premium and the Resub Acroy, Dark Vortex, and Fox. Marvel's Luke Cage Light Up Creation Tube. Didn't watch the show, but I. A creation tube sounds cool. Haunted Mansion was a pretty good movie. I liked it as a kid. Not enough to buy a head from it. Man, they got a lot of Jupiter Ascending merch here. Since no one saw the movie, they're probably hoping to turn a profit or something just from selling every item that was ever on the set. God damn, another one. You saw something from Jumper? I didn't see it. Is the resub guru? Chronicles of Riddick, you get the full armor set. Kind of cool. This site's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. I've seen a lot of amazing stuff on here. More Jupiter Ascending, random gloves, love that. Who wouldn't want those? Try Hunger Games props. That's a good idea, actually. Probably have to do it here, though. I wonder if they're selling my outfit. District 8 Hospital. Oh. Decorative seal of capital. Can you imagine, though? <laughs> How hype that would be. District 8 hospital helper full outfit screen matched. Oh, man. Things of Prime, Realsa, and Aroxel, and the resub Mudkip. You should be able to know the authenticity. Oh, I know exactly what I wore. It was a green and black striped shirt with a gray vest over it. It was just like all ratty thrift thrift store clothes that they got in because we were supposed to have just been like bombed and we're all like dirty and, and injured and shit. I know exactly what the outfit looked like. So if anyone ever tries auctioning that, I'll know. I'll know what they're doing with it. Look at Lord of the Rings. Let me take a peek. You couldn't keep it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm sure they wouldn't have stopped me if I just left with it. But they make you put it back in the rack. You can buy some prosthetic hobbit feet. That's cool. Already one bid for seven fifty.
We already looked for Moonfall props. There are none. Thanks for some tolerable. The sword's cool. It's not 30 grand cool, but it is cool. I agree. You search Moonfall for just that one section. Try buy it now. Can you search buy it now? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can. Let's do Hunger Games then. Hunger Games Mocking J Part 1 Frame District 13 Belt. Let's go. If it was if it was District 8, I would unironically buy it. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't District 13. I was Dist District 8. Damn, imagine though. Unlucky. All right, let's look at uh, what was, what did what did I say? Oh yeah, the uh, moonfall. No, just moonwalker. Shame. No moonfall yet. Unless they're just flying off the shelves.